Today is the second Sunday in Advent. The readings will come from Romans 15, 4 to 13, and Matthew 11, 2 to 10. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Romans. For what things soever were written were written for our learning, that through patience and the comfort of the Scriptures we might have hope. Now the God of patience and of comfort grant you to be of one mind, one towards another, according to Jesus Christ, that with one mind and with one mouth you may glorify God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive one another, as Christ also hath received you, unto the honor of God. For I say that Christ Jesus was minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, but that the Gentiles are to glorify God for his mercy, as it is written. Therefore will I confess to thee, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and will sing to thy name. And again he saith, Rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and magnify him, all ye people. And again Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise up to rule the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. Now the, hope, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope and in the power of the Holy Ghost. Deo gratias. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Gloria tibi Domine. And the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the publican, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon, the Can Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent, commanding them, saying, Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles, and into the city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go ye rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and going preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils, freely you have Received, freely give. Do not possess gold nor silver, nor money in your purses, nor script for your journey, nor two coats, nor shoes, nor a staff. For the workman is worthy of his meat. Laus tibi Christe. <clears throat> 